Before we get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to EA for sending me an early access code as this video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Thank you! Hey guys, it's the Plum Dot here, and welcome back to my channel for another season's room build. So the weather is getting cooler, the leaves are falling off the trees, they're changing colors, there may be some thunder and lightning storms. Where are you gonna find me? in my at-home library. So growing up, one of my most favorite Disney films, and still to this day it's my favorite Disney films, was Beauty and the Beast. And then I really loved Matilda, both in the book and in the film. So I fancied myself a little bit of a Matilda Belle. So when I was trying to come up with the concept of what to do for a fall room build, I actually was gonna go with a dining room because my most favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. There's nothing that I love more than sitting around the table with lots of food. I am a huge foodie. Surrounded by family and friends and just giving thanks and being grateful for what I have in life. But I really wanted to do a room that represented me and from a very young age I have always fantasized about having a library. A room with books from floor to ceiling lining the walls and one of those ladders that you can ride back and forth on. And a bookshelf that is a secret bookshelf where you pull the book down and you go into a secret passageway, some of that Scooby-Doo stuff that we all know from the cartoons. So yes, this is what I came up with my ultimate fantasy library room because I have always loved to read. I am a huge bookworm. I don't get to read as much as I would like to nowadays, but when I was young, I was always found with a book in my lap with my nose in a book and the bigger the book the better i like big books and i cannot lie <laughs> in fact some of my favorite memories were when the power went out and my dad would build a huge roaring fire and i would just sit in front of it with a book in my lap and read by the firelight and i just loved it i loved it so much that sometimes when the power would come back on i would actually ask my parents to leave the lights off so i could continue being in this own little world that I created and that's probably why I wear glasses and I can't see you very well because it's not very good for your eyes but I enjoyed it so much and it just made me so incredibly happy so I want to know from you guys who are your favorite authors? What are some of your favorite book series? And what are some of your favorite books? Now, definitely growing up, anything by Roald Dahl, I absolutely loved. I love Matilda, I love the BFG, I love the witches, and he is such a great author. And then in fifth grade, my fifth grade teacher, who was my favorite teacher in the world, introduced us to a book called The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles, which is by Julie Edwards, aka Julie Andrews, aka Mary Poppins. It is such a good book, and I try to revisit that book every few years because I just love it. I can't quite do the voices like Mrs. Gray, but I do try my best. I really, really enjoyed that book. I also loved a book called Nancy and Plum, and then there was a book that I actually didn't really enjoy when I first opened it. I had to read it for a school assignment and I tried. I did try my best. I got about two pages in and I was like, I can't do this, but I have to write a report on it. What do I do? So I was like, mom, 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 come read this book so I can write a report on it. And bless her heart, she read the book, told me what it was all about and I was able to write my report. Years later, I did go back and revisit the book, and it was so good. So that book was called The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck, and I really, really enjoyed it. So ladies and gentlemen, do not judge a book by its cover. Do not judge a book by its first few pages because it can get a lot better. Now, as an adult, I am more into series, so I'm really into the In-Depth series by J.D. Robb, and then I really loved the True Blood books by Charlene Harris. If you guys have seen the show and haven't read the books, I highly recommend it because the books are much, much better than the show was. I loved True Blood, but the books were just amazing, and there's so much detail in the books. That's what I love about books is that they can take you to a completely different world. You can be a completely different person and live somewhere else and it just makes me really happy and it makes my heart so incredibly full 
Now, I don't really veer off of the series that I read too often, but a few months ago, a friend recommended a couple of books to me, and they are so good. So it was The Hate You Give and also One of Us is Lying. Those were very, very good books. So if you haven't read those, definitely go and pick them up because they're very good. They're very insightful, and yeah, I really, really enjoy them. So hit me down below with some book recommendations, some authors, some series that you guys are enjoying. And and then when I was very, very little, um, some of my favorite sort of picture books, some of my favorite poets, um, Shel Silverstein was a huge poet that I loved. I read that a lot throughout my childhood. I also loved The Napping House. And then there was a book called I Will Love You Forever, I believe it's called. That one tugs at my heartstrings and I just love it. Now the last book that I'm going to talk about was a real tearjerker and I don't cry very often at books but this one really got me. It was Dear John by Nicholas Sparks and I'm not a fan of Nicholas Nicholas Sparks's um writing for some reason. I find it really hard to get into, but I was hooked on Dear John uh, to the point that when I finished it, I couldn't even recommend it because I would say Dear J and I would start bawling my eyes out. So if you've seen the film but not read the book, again, another book that is better than a film and I highly recommend it. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here with my ultimate library. Make sure to stick around to my channel for winter, but if you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and if you you guys aren't already subscribed and you like what you see why don't you go ahead and hit that button don't be a plum stranger now guys bye